Hey guys, today we're taking a look at Mario Tennis on Nintendo 64, and surprise, I'm not dead! Uh, <laughs> it's been quite a while since my last unboxing video, and for that I do have to apologise. I meant to do a ton of them this year, but between just being really, really busy, uh, not having a lot of natural light, because it's been autumn and winter here in Australia, uh, and just, just in general, just sort of, uh, <laughs> just not having a lot of time for stuff, so uh, I apologise it's been so long, I am in no way ending the channel, I'm no way stopping doing these videos, I love doing this stuff, it's sort of my, my one opportunity to connect uh, with other collectors out there on the internet, um, and so I really do enjoy doing these, so I hope to keep doing them for quite some time in the future, it's just obviously going to be pretty sporadic, um, so hopefully maybe I can get a little bit back on top of it, but uh, we'll see, I'm still... Still pretty busy right now trying to finish up a game. Uh, making a game, that is. <laughs> but anyway, let's just jump right into Mario Tennis here. So, main reason I'm starting with this game is because I love N64 games. Uh, that was my first system, and so that's always a system that I, I gravitate towards in my nostalgia bubble. Um, and Mario Tennis is a really interesting game because it was one of the, one of the earliest uh, sort of Mario sports titles made by Camelot. Uh, Camelot was probably best known for Golden Sun. So on the front here, of course, pretty standard uh, box. This is the Australian version, which is based on the American box art. So we've just got the very colourful, nice Mario Tennis logo, and a great CGI shot, especially for the time, uh, of Mario preparing to, uh, you know, serve the tennis ball. Mario and friends serve up another ace, and of course this was not only designed for the N64 Rumble Pack, which, you know, to its credit actually used it pretty well. This was a good, uh, good game for them. Uh, it also used one to four players simultaneous multiplayer. And that's where I got yeah, played this game. I never owned it as a kid. This was just like one of those games where like a friend would bring it over and or like we'd rent it from a video shop and it would be a great time. Especially for all the weirdo characters that are in this game. Uh, so we can see on the green section here, it uh, looks like we've got like part of Princess Daisy down here. You can just sort of see her torso and legs there. Um, we got Toad in the... Uh, oh gosh, this, this is going to show how bad I am at sport. Uh, umpire's seat, I think. Uh, and then, of course, you've got, weirdly enough, Baby Mario versus Bowser and uh, Yoshi over here. And I think, I think that's supposed to be Paracooper. <laughs> okay, then over here we got just Mario and Luigi, I guess, having fun with uh, their rackets in front of a crowd. The opening cutscene to this game is phenomenal, by the way. The opening cutscene to this and the GameCube title are just, they're incredible. The, the amount of personality they get out of the, uh, the Mario characters is just wonderful. Camelot have always been very good at that, as of next level games. And then on the uh, red side over here, we get our new character. So this was Waluigi's introduction in Mario Tennis. That's why he has the, uh, the racket in Super Smash Bros. as an assist trophy. Uh, so yeah, he's, I'm not a big fan of Waluigi to be honest, but uh, as you can see, a new character being introduced to the Mario Mythos was quite a big deal at the time. All your favourite characters hit the court in a wild and wacky multiplayer tennis game from the makers of Mario Golf. Mario, Luigi, Bowser, Bowser, Peach, Toad, and Donkey Kong. I appreciate that only Mario and Donkey Kong need the trademark. Uh, lead off the all-star 14 player lineup. So of course it's... Honestly this... Yo, I don't like sports games in general. I'm not even that big a fan of like all of the Mario sports games, but... This game I've always loved. Uh, this is a GameCube one. I just think there's so much fun to play on a mechanical level. There's so much like interplay and there's like all these great tense moments. Uh, the Switch game is really kind of what got me back into this. Uh, I don't actually have the Switch game, but um, it was sort of I played the beta at the time and that sort of got me thinking about Mario Tennis again. So of course you've got your traditional Mario Tennis games in this uh, with you know, traditional courts, uh, you know, 2v2 or 1v1. And then you've also got, or sorry, singles and doubles I should say. And then you've also got things like the ring challenges, you've got the piranha plant challenges, and you've also got Bowser's Castle, which is basically kind of like Mario Kart Tennis. Uh, it's a lot of fun as a mode, and I wish they'd bring that back. And this I'm just not realising, and they do, they do have it, but I feel like that something like that is... Like, that exact mode isn't really in the game anymore with the question mark blocks you can hit. And of course, Waluigi in his N64 glory. Look at that <laughs> ugly son of a gun. <laughs> okay. So we open up in here, and of course, being an N64 game, we did not skimp on the packaging. Okay. So, of course, we have our cartridge inside its lovely white sleeve. So, of course, this is just the cover art once again, but, uh, you know, you've got all your classic things, the original Nintendo seal of quality, which is always a nice thing to see, uh, and, of course, you can see this is an Australian cartridge. A little bit dirty, unfortunately, but that's the way it tends to go with this stuff. 
Uh, but on the back, uh, a little bit of a rip there, but, you know, not, not the end of the world. Just the way it goes with a lot of secondhand games now. Everything's so expensive that, like, <laughs> you take what you can get in the best form you can find it for the most reasonable price. <laughs> okay, put that aside. And then, well, we've got our, our always exciting consumer information and precautions booklet, which is about as exciting as you'd imagine. And we've got a lovely poster fold-out thing of Bowie. It shows off all the amazing N64 titles you could purchase at this point. Or a bunch of them anyway, so of course uh, F1 World Grand Prix, uh, which I, I think is, that's remembered pretty fondly. Uh, Banjo-Kazooie, of course, one of my absolute favourites. GoldenEye, uh, Yoshi's Story, Diddy Kong Racing. You know, it's amazing how much of this is just all like games developed by Rare. Uh, Mario 64, Rose Squadron, all that good stuff. Mario Party 1, we're back at Mario Party 1 back here. Lilac Wars, the Star Fox 64 was known in Europe and the Power Regions. Uh, Wave Race 64, I love that one. Snowboard Kids, F-Zero X, Mario Kart 64. And of course, all the way up here we've got Ocarina of Time. As well as the, uh, <laughs> the N64 apparently flying down from the heavens to, <laughs> I don't know, possess the people of Earth with its weird tendrils. I really don't know what half these uh, marketing campaigns were about. I and mean, on the other side of that, we have a Game Boy poster, of course, showing off a lot of the great Game Boy and Game Boy Color games you could get at the time. Man, that just seeing Charmander, that old back sprite of Charmander, that just that fills me with so much nostalgia. <laughs> uh, but uh, lots and lots of great games here, many of which I, I've never really got uh, that deep into the Game Boy's uh, library, not as deep as I would have liked, so I hope to actually maybe pick up some of, some of these one day. Okay, and finally, of course, we've got main attraction, the actual instruction booklet. With the great uh, yellow background, as always. The old uh, Nintendo seal of quality assurance. And, uh, yeah, all your usual sort of descriptions. So, of course, a nearly 40-page manual for Mario Tennis. Tennis balls uh, being our little uh, page number cases. Realistic tennis you can jump right into, I right? I don't know about realistic Mario Tennis, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. A slightly more awkward uh, render, that, that looks a lot more like mid-90s Mario to me. <laughs> uh, or late 90s, I should say. And uh, shows you, of course, all the different modes, and which pages to uh, find them on. Get set to play tennis. First, select the number of players, next choose a character, and they try and make things as simple as possible. I love the character selection in this game because it's such an oddball thing, like, this is one of the only games to ever feature Donkey Kong Jr. apart from Super Mario Kart uh, as a playable character. And I, I love that so much. Donkey Kong Jr. just gets ignored nowadays. And Princess Daisy, like, remember, this is at a time when Princess Daisy's only appearance was in uh, Sarasa Land in Mario Land 1 on the Game Boy. So actually to bring her in to 3D and actually like redesign her uh, was quite an interesting thing, like, I had no idea who she was at the time. Or baby Mario there with his pl playing his racket like a guitar, I guess. This all, you know, it, it's all very detailed and explains the game very well, but it sort of also overcomplicates things. Uh, this is a very simple game to pick up and play, to be honest. Uh, you can get really into it, and there are a lot of complicated mechanics and some secret mechanics that sort of are in the game uh, that you can you can learn and figure out, or do what I do and you know look them up online. <laughs> But uh, there's definitely a lot of nuance and complication to it, but just picking it up and playing is pretty simple. I love Donkey Kong with Baby Mario there, just looking very confused. I love that Donkey Kong's racket is actually a branch. A lot of great renders with a lot of personality in this manual. Oh, look at Yoshi and Birdo. <laughs> That's always been... I don't know if maybe Mario Tennis was the game which started them as a pairing. I mean, not, not a romantic pairing necessarily, but just like a, a strange, like... These are the weird dinosaur-like creatures. One from a dream, and one from uh, Mario's babyhood. Yeah, they, they go into a lot of detail about like how tennis works and the complicated mechanics behind it. So uh, if you, you know, really have absolutely no idea about tennis, then uh, you can definitely get a lot out of this manual. I, I really do think it's making a very simple game a little more complicated than it needs to be, but. You know, of course, we've got all the different court types here. And rather than sort of being, rather than the aesthetic change, it's more about, like, the mechanical change. 
You can get some special courts, which do have some cool effects and diff like unique music and cool remixes of other Mario songs, which I really like. Um, but in general, you know, you're sort of playing on a plain court. You've got Tournament's Fair, Mushroom Cup, Flower Cup, and Star Cup, and I, I believe... Uh, it's been a little while since I actually played through it now, but I believe there are three others you can get, which are like extra hard cups. The doubles partners. <laughs> For the computer characters, that's actually quite an interesting little matchup. They show you exactly who they should be, and I guess this game was also where Luigi and Daisy being a pairing started as well. It's starting to think how much maybe like can trace its lineage back to uh, Mario Tennis. Just because all these characters needed like doubles partners. <laughs> Ring shots. Now that's definitely overcomplicating how ring shot works. <laughs> but kudos to the people who wrote this manual because it's amazing just the, the level of detail and thought they put in it. I say all these renders are really great too. Okay. Ah, then we get to items in the Bowser Castle stage. So of course, like Mario Kart, you've got your red shell, your green shell, your banana, uh, the mushroom, which speeds you up of course in this case, just like Mario Kart, the Invincibility Star, and the lightning. And that, that mode is a lot of fun, especially with friends. It's <laughs> it's one of those things where it's like, I, I wish I still had friends like I did 20 years ago to play N64 games with, but uh, alas. <laughs> okay, Waluigi throwing down his racket in disgust or something, I think. Or maybe dropping it. <laughs> um, piranha challenge, you've got to hit the, uh, the balls of the piranha plants, shoot at your back. Very triumphant looking Luigi statue up there. Um, and of course, all the sort of stats menus you can access. And finally, we get to the characters. Everyone loves tennis. These brothers stay cool no matter what their opponents serve up. <laughs> so you get that for Mario and Luigi, but that for Peach and uh, Daisy. Their accurate shots are sure victory. Okay, great, uh, great bit of character building there. Oh, and sorry, and for Toad and Waluigi, no wonder then. For some reason, Baby Mario was a blinding speed character. That, that seems unlikely to me. Maybe with the Power Star where he gets his cape, but... And then we're getting to some of the more oddball characters, you know, yeah, Donkey Kong, Bowser, Wario. This might have been one of Wario's first 3D appearances, apart from, I guess, Mario Party and Golf. We got Paratrooper, we got Boo, and yeah, we got Donkey Kong Jr. That might be his only ever 3D render, you know. Uh, and Shy Guy. <laughs> you can use these characters too, but how? You have to complete uh, the tournaments, the singles and doubles tournaments to unlock them. But yeah, that's the Mario Tennis manual, and that is our look at Mario Tennis as a whole. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. As I say, I hope to do a lot more unboxings in the future. Who knows if that'll happen. Uh, but I, I'm not dead, I'm not stopping doing these, I just... Yeah, it's, it, it's like completely up in the air when I ever get to do them, and... Uh, yeah, ho hopefully I can do more, but my my actual work uh, naturally takes priority, and after doing that, you know, I might not always have the chance uh, during daylight hours to, you know, record one of these, or, you know, sometimes <laughs> sometimes you really just get lazy, and you just want to play a game or something instead, so... But fingers crossed, I'll do my best, and uh, thank you to everyone that stuck around. I think my subscriber numbers have actually gone up somehow, so uh, thank you all for that. Anyway, without further ado, uh, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you soon. And I think it's gonna be a long, long time Till touchdown brings me around again to find I'm not the man they thought I was at home Oh no, no, no I'm an unboxing man Sitting in his bedroom here alone <laughs> Oh gosh